a penny. This is the best birthday ever. Dude, it's just a penny. Bro, if pennies were equivalent to quarters, I'd be rich. Who loves orange soda? Oh, Justin, man, I want to say happy birthday. This is a great day, dude. Word. Yeah, man. Hey, man, you want to know what I want to do for my birthday? No, what do you want to do for I your birthday? I want to do my favorite sketch. Your favorite sketch? Doll, oh, we will definitely do that. Oh, hi. I'm Kip, Professor Kip from Kip's Tips. Today, I want to tell you about a really, really good tip. It's tip number 52. Tip number 52 has to do with this cold weather we've been having. It's real cold. I know you know it. I know it. I really know it. It's real cold out there. Let me tell you how to stay warm in that cold weather. Paper towels. That's right. They'll keep you warm. Anything really that you want to put between you and your sweater or jacket is going to create more space between the two of you and create more heat. It's really the air around you that keeps you warm, not so much the article of clothing that you're wearing. I suggest paper towels, but I've known some kids to put uh, tissues, cotton balls, and cats. Now that might sound weird to you, but as the cats move around between you and your garment, that's really going to keep you warm. You might need to feed them every so often, but you're not going to get cold, if you know what I mean. Thank you. I'm Professor Kip. That was Kip's Tips, number 52. Alright, happy birthday, man. I hope you enjoyed it, alright? <laughs> Actually, that wasn't my favorite sketch. Oh. Well, you know what, man? It's not really your birthday, so. Word. You guys want to have a chicken fight? All right, Kyle, stop playing with the gun. See, we're running out of time for next week's Christmas episode. We need an idea, we need it fast. I want Elvis to play at my wedding. Not the impersonator. I want the real thing. And I think Christmas, <laughs> it's time for my wishes to come true. That's not what Christmas is about. Are you even seeing anybody? Hey, next week's the Christmas party. You never know what you'll find under the mistletoe. That is the most beautiful thing I've ever heard. Why can't I say things like that, Chris? No, no, that is not what the Christmas party is about. It's about learning about Jesus. Wow. Okay, can we just get serious for a couple minutes here? Word. See, why can't I say things like that? It's because I'm black, and I think long and short about the things I say. Listen, Anthony, look, what's that important to you? We'll give you a catchphrase, but seriously, what's up with the tree? Marcus, get out of here! Okay, guys. Lass uns das in den Lagerfeuer-Sketch drehen. Let's go film the Bonfire-Sketch, guys. I'm with you. When did Kyle learn German? Are you tired of baking fire to stay warm? Then stop! Come to the Bonfire, January 2nd. We're going to burn this Christmas tree. We're going to burn his Christmas tree, his Christmas tree, your Christmas tree. We are going to burn all the Christmas trees. <laughs> Bonfire, January 2nd at Colby's house. More information to come. You can stop. Hey, ah, my hair's on fire. Who loves orange soda?